Hello YouTube, it's me, Kids Castle here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own Minecraft server. First, step one, you want to go to New, go all the way up here where it says Folder, and you want to right click. You're going to name it to whatever you want. I'm going to name it Server. I right, just put it right there. So what you want to do is go to your Google Chrome or your Internet Explorer, Explorer or whatever Internet system you have. Then you want to click Go Over Here. Type in www.minecraft.net slash download. I'll put the links in the description. You want to go to Minecraft Server 1.6.2 XE. Then it's going to pop up here. And you're going to either click and show in folder. You're going to right click. You can click copy. Or what you want to or you could do the other way. You could drag it. Go over here, then paste it there. When open your server, you'll see the file right there. I'm going to rename it so it doesn't have the number. I'm going to delete that. Then I'm going to right click. I'm going to click open. I'm going to click run. And while you wait for it to run, you could also go here back to your Internet Explorer. You go here where it says Hamachi. I'll put this in the description below. You can download the unmanaged version. Click download now. You click OK. But then when you download, it's going to pop up here when it finishes downloading. You could either show in folder, right click, click copy again, or you could drag it. Go over here, paste it here. Like I did, and it will become like this but you have to install it and this thing will become 100% and you're going to click stop but it's not 100% now so we're not going to type that in yet for Hamachi you're going to right click you're going to click open and then your system should do it like this but without the servers what you want to do is click sys no not system sorry you're going to click this button yours is going to be off so you want to turn it on and then if you're going to make a server, you're going to click make a new server or network, excuse me. Type it whatever you want. The network ID could be whatever you want. The password is going to be 123. Or it could be whatever you want for the password. I'm going to just do 123. And it says what you want. And then you, you, if your friends want to join your server, you're going to click join an existing network. It's going to be what you want. And then you click join on the password too. So I'm gonna just delete that. And while this thing is almost about done, and if you want to run your server, you get before you even do that. What you want to do is open the server file. You're gonna go to server properties. You're gonna right click. You're gonna open with, and then you click Notepad. But for your, for you, for those that don't have it, like me, you're gonna drag it, go over here to show your desktop. Then you're gonna go to Notepad, and it's gonna say Open with Notepad. And that's what you want. Right here, it's gonna say whatever you want. We're gonna change this mode to false, so there's no lag. But if you put it to false, people could hack. So you might wanna. If you want, don't want that to happen, you can put it back on true. PvP, we're going to put false. Difficulty is going to be 2, which is going to be normal. Max players is going to be, let's say, 10. Game mode is going to be the same. And view distance is going to be 8 for um, normal. And uh, we're going to go up here to server IP. And you sure when you you're gonna open Hamachi again, your server IP is gonna be right here. You're gonna right click, copy that. You're gonna go to server IP, you're gonna hit critical V on your keyboard, it's gonna pop up like that. And you leave everything as is. You go to file, save, or you could just exit right here and then it's gonna say save. And after that's done, you're gonna click stop enter do not close it yourself is going to close on its own 
And then you want to go over here. You to go up here. You to right click, click delete. You to click yes. Hold up. This thing still needs to close. All right after it closed, you to go to back to where it says world. Right click, click delete. Yes, gets deleted. Or you could go here, click empty recycle bin. I'm gonna just type in empty. Whoops. Nope. Delete. Yes. And you close that. Then you get open here again. Right click, open, run. And then while it runs, it's gonna pop up here again, or around here. It's gonna say world again, so then it'll save your files. It's preparing the spawn area. And it see it pop up to, popped up there, sorry. You to maximize that if you want. You can close this down if you want, but I'm gonna leave it. So next step, what you wanna do, oh yeah, you could close your browser if you didn't close that already. You could open your Minecraft launcher or your Minecraft. You could click run, it should pop up here and click run. For me, it doesn't do that, it just launches automatically. And before you could join your server, it's going to have to say 100% or it's going to say done. And then close that. And while await loads, you're going to click play. Should have said stop or done. Do not click stop or type in stop. And if you want to see the commands for your server, you can type in slash help or slash help to slash help three slash help four all the way up to six this shows the game rules give players help kick kill list and you could ban and kick players out of the game or you could clear and clear their inventory you could tape and save all which saves the world save off stop saving automatically and save on to start saving automatically for my server, I like to make it save off so we reduce lag. So we're going to just type in slave slash off. We're going to turn off world saving. And if we want to save our world, we're going to type in save, save, slash save, excuse me, slash all, enter. It's going to say save the world. You could go to your Minecraft. You go to multiplayer. Hold up, I'm gonna take this texture pack off. I'll be back. We go to multiplayer. We go to the server. Wait, we haven't done that part yet. Here, I'll delete this for you. Show you what to do from now. So you can name it whatever you want. Does it could be whatever you want? It doesn't have to be specific or anything. You can go to your log me and Hamachi or Hamachi. You could go if you're gonna join a friend server. What you wanna do is click the friend you want. You're gonna right click and then you're gonna copy IPv4 address. But if you're making your own server, you could go up here above your name. You could click on that. So we could click name it whatever you want. Then the IP address, you could go over here to Hamachi. If you're gonna join a friend server, you gonna right click their name and then copy IPv4 address. And if you're making your own address, you what you wanna do, go over your name. You're gonna right click copy IPv4 address. Then you go to server address, you're gonna click hit critical V on your keyboard. It's gonna type that in automatically. You're gonna hit two periods, two five five six five click done so it's gonna pop up here you're gonna click join server you're gonna join here it should say someone joining but for me it says reached end of stream because I had errors with my server before but it should let you join if you did everything like I said see it let me join the game 
and this is my world. And it's loading still, but you get the point. So this is the new server, our world. And other players could join if you want. And you could just start mining trees or whatever you want. So thanks YouTube for watching and goodbye.